all right now let's understand what is the parallel line now if you can see that line which i am dragging in each straight line so wherever it is vertical so those are all lines are parallel to the paper line if you can actually see here so there are four parallel lines all the four line which are vertical are see these are the two line which are parallel now here this line also is parallel and this also is parallel okay now the first thing what you do is so draw the two line here from here you can start your work from here and now let's name this a okay if i name this a now let me name this b so the a and b are again parallel line if you actually see this is very important now let's do here also let's say a c and a d again the c and d are parallel to each other okay now if i'm coming here then let's say i will name it e and f e and f also are parallel to each other and also they are parallel to the d and c because they are all coming in one single now again h and the b also are parallel now let's erase all these unwanted lines okay now here is the shape what we have done and if you can actually see i am just making all the line into double and once if it is done whatever those unwanted lines i am just going to erase and so the corner was really sharp i just made that into blank now we are just going to do the detail of the book so i'm just making the parallel into a little curve to show the book so now you can write something here if you would like to and also here also those lines has to be parallel and once if you are done you can just fill the color if you want uh, this thing to be in dark if you want the text to be font to be in dark then you can just make the background light if you want the text to be font to be in light then you have to make the background a little dark and now here you can write something just to give the impression of that so everywhere when you are doing that it has to be parallel to the line which you have drawn drawn previously now here there is a bar code if you would like to show here also make the parallel line first light line and then to start making the detailing and it has to be parallel like this
and now you can start doing the shading so just use the light color pencil maybe hb you can use or you can use 2b so don't go for the dark pencil so now you have got the medium tone and the light tone with the hp pencil you can just smudge it with the cotton or with just a finger and after that you can start making the dark tone so now you can just go with the darker pencil maybe you can go for 4b or 6c if you are having a stapler then you can work with the 4b if it is some other pencil you can just work with 6c so you can add some tonal variation so from dark to light and so that can here also you can add some dark tone and i think that's it